Hi, I'm Tony, and this is Tony's Train Time. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to weather a fence, a slate fence. A very simple project, takes a couple hours to do, and the end product will be this. So, let's get to it. Wall painting. This is the first step in painting. I'm using Deep Gray from Titan. This is the base coat, it's slate, colored, and it will be upon this that I will do the rest afterwards. Randomly splotch. Don't worry too much because the fillers will be done after. Once the, the main slate base coat is applied, this is the overall aspect of it the piece it's still drying we will be going over it like I say individually picking out individual stones and then finally giving it a wash and, and then dry brushing this is the overall aspect and now I'm gonna use these four colors basically to pick out individual stones they are Vallejo flat earth stone gray German gray and light oxide red from I bought these a few years back at a supermarket they were fairly cheap and they've lasted quite a while and they've done quite a good job so I'm going to use a, a very thin brush, this part, a patience tester, using a, a brush like this, and pick out individual stone. So I'm going to start with the flat earth, use my palette. This is my preference. I prefer picking out in brown large rocks. For instance, let's start with this one. goes on quite well and it's quite fast. I'm not going to do the top ones this color. As you can see, I've picked out in the brown a few stones on both sides. This side I picked out a few more. Now, this looks kind of stark in contrast, but don't worry because once this is weathered, like I say, with dark wash and then dry brush, this will virtually disappear. Now, I'm going to go repeat the process with the stone gray, and uh, I'll show you the effect of that when it's done, okay? A few minutes later. Two colors have been added, and I went one step further, and I mixed a bit of the two to get a third color, this one here, just for a little variety, okay? And now we're going to go into the darker color, which is the German gray, okay? Now this one, I'm going to do more than I did on the other ones just because slate has some darker uh, tones to it. Now I added five drops of water, of uh, paint, and now a little bit of water, just enough to get consistency of a thin, very thin wash. And now basically just go over everything like so. Make sure you get the top as well as the bottom. And once that's done, I'll show you the final effect. After the black wash, this is the effect we got. I am now going to dry brush the entire wall, bring out the highlights with very light gray. In this case, I'm using Fowler Strassen, but you can use any light concrete color. I just like this paint because it's very easy to use and easy to clean up, and it dries very fast. In case you don't know, dry brushing is just taking a bit of paint, wiping most of it off, like so, and then brushing from top to bottom, bringing out the highlights. Okay, there we go, it's done. Now I'm just gonna disguise these part lines with a little bit of ground foam. This is the overall picture. Once more, I'll disguise that, and then I will install it on the layout once it's all 100% dry. 